This video will teach you how to set up Gmail filters. Filters are rules that you can set up to trigger specific actions. For example, you can create a filter for email from a specific person to be labeled. Let's get started. Click the gear icon and select settings. Click on the filters and blocked addresses tab. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see a link for create a new filter. Click that. You can also just click the drop down arrow in the search box. Set your rule or criteria. You can select as many fields needed or it can be as simple as any mail from a specific sender gets filtered with a specific label. Options include from, to, subject, has the words, doesn't have, has attachment, don't include chats, size, and a date range. In this first filter example, we're going to use the criteria from and add an email address. You can only add one email address in this box for the filter to work properly. If you put multiple email addresses, Gmail thinks the message has to come from all email addresses listed instead of from one in the list. Click Create Filter with this search. Now we'll set an action. These include skip the inbox, archive it, mark as read, star it, apply a label, delete, never send to spam, send canned response, always mark as important, never mark as important, or categorize. In this example, we're going to select apply the label. When you check this off, all labels that you have created will appear. If the label you need is not in the list, simply click New Label, enter a name for the label, and click Create. Next, you're going to want to check off Also Apply Filter to Matching Conversations, then click Create Filter. You can create as many filters as you need. Let's try another example. In this example, we're going to use has the words. We receive lots of emails about our Wild Wild Tech conference that happened this past summer. These emails could come from anyone, so instead of trying to create a filter with from or to or even the subject, we're going to use has the words. Has the words will search the subject line.